Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video we're going to be checking out the M13B. It has just been introduced into the game and it's a very weird way of unlocking the gun. You have to go into DMZ and kill the chemist, I think it is, and then you have to pick it up and extract. It is very weird. The best way to do it is have a friend or a random person in the game. He, If he already has it, you put it on and then load into the game and have him drop it and then you could pick it up and then of course you gotta extract i would like to ask if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button today's like goal is going to be 40 likes so if you could do that for me i'd really appreciate it now let's get straight into the attachments now i did build this out mainly for damage range and bullet velocity i didn't really care too much about the aim down side time but i still added a lot of aim down side time and if you can control the recoil you really don't need to worry too much about that either for the barrel, I'm going to be using the 14-inch Bruin Echelon barrel as damage range, bullet velocity, hit fire accuracy, and recoil control. For the barrel tuning, I'm going to be going with recoil steadiness and damage range. Now, for the optic, this is preference. You don't have to run this, and I will give you another attachment you can run, but I am using the Cronin Mini Pro. It's like a little blue dot, and I really, really enjoy using this. For the tuning, I'm going to be doing aim down sight time and close for the eye position. Now, if you don't want to use the Cronin Mini Pro, you can use the Ammunition 556 High Velocity. The pros are bullet velocity and the cons are damage range, but you can tune it to where it gives you both bullet velocity and damage range, which I think is kind of broken. For the underbarrel, I'm going to be using the Commando Foregrip. It adds aiming idle stability and recoil stabilization. For the underbarrel tuning, I'm going to be going with aim down sight time and aim walking speed. Over on the rear grip, I'm going to be using the Bruin flash grip at sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The tuning being aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And for the last attachment, I'm going to be using the Bruin flash v V4 stock at sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, and aim down sight speed. Now with this gun, I think it struggles a lot with damage range, but this class setup helps with that a bunch. But like I said, you can change out the optic for the ammunition and it helps out even more. I just don't like the iron sights. I have a crazy gameplay where I dropped an MGB or a nuke. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. All right, we're going to be checking out the new M13B. It's definitely not a meta weapon, I would say. It can be viable if you build it out correctly. And I think my my class setup is definitely the best way to go. You could probably take off the, the red dot or the, the blue dot and change it out with some ammunition that gives bullet velocity and damage range. But I really enjoy using this class setup and it is given me a lot of high kill games i haven't gotten the gun gold yet as you can see or else i would have it on but probably end up getting it gold this game I'll try to get a little high kill game he's trying to hide from me or something my teammates up above me Go ahead and drop this down, get some more ammo. Where is... I'm gonna try to run away. That is not a good push. My teammates are gonna hold that down. Ooh. Teammates have a UAV that is big. There's a guy right there. What is he doing? It's not a really like high recoil gun either. You can control it pretty well. You have an advanced UAV. Drop this on the... Mark. 
I didn't think he was in here. I think they're pushing me now. I have an advanced UAV and a UAV just in case. My teammate's gonna kill him. <clears throat> My teammate's got another UAV. Okay. Alright, we're on a 20 now. 21. I don't want to stay in one position. Call my UAV in. Wow, that is not good. Messed up on getting that kill. We're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pop this advance. I don't know what he was trying to do. Take like him on a 25 now. Should be. All right, we got the nuke. That is really good. It's definitely not that bad of a gun. Just gotta build it out correctly. Try to get a higher kill streak here. Oh, I'm probably dead. Oh, a teammate saved me. Thank you. I think I'm on a 40, yeah. Alright, we died on a 41. That's not bad. Got plenty of time left, so we can get more kills. Oh my god, what am I what am I doing? <clears throat> I will say, if you did enjoy using the M13 and MW2019, you will enjoy using this gun. I love UAVs, oh my god. <clears throat> Call this VTOL in. Call the UAV in. Pretty sure I already got the gun gold too. If I'm lucky, I could get a double nuke. I doubt it, but... If nukes, or killstreaks counted towards nukes, I would get so many of them. I'm sure anybody would be able to get a nuke by then. I doubt on like an 18, I think. Call this advance in. 
I'm gonna move up here so I can have like an angle on them. Oh my gosh, my shots were a little shaky. Eighty kills, oh my gosh. If you may stay off the hard point, I could probably get a hundred. We're sitting at 86 kills. Teammates are getting on the hard point. I gotta remember to pop the the nuke at 230 or 240. I'm on at 89, or I have 89 kills. Could go ahead and call this a veto in in the middle. Where's he at? A blind? I am. And there's a guy right there. All right, teammates. I can hold off on calling the nuke in just a little bit longer. But if teammates hop on, I'm going to call it in. It looks like they're going to. It's <clears throat> a good little 10 minute game. Alright, teammates are going to go ahead and hop on. I'm going to call this in. All right, we did get 94 kills. This is the M13B. GG's.